After you have divided the screen into multiple tiled viewports, you can easily resize any of the viewports by dragging the horizontal or vertical viewport boundaries. Click the Viewport Controls and choose Viewport Configuration List 4 Equal to split the model space window into four tiled viewports. Initially, the model space window is split into four equal size viewports. Move the cursor over the vertical boundary separating the viewports. When you do, you can see a drag handle. Click and drag the boundary to the left to change the size of the viewports. Repeat this with the horizontal boundary separating the viewports. Again, when you click and drag, you change the size of the viewports. You can also easily add more viewports by clicking the small plus sign icon near the top of the vertical boundary or by pressing the control key while dragging the boundary. For example, Click the icon and then drag the cursor to the right to split the upper right viewport into two viewports divided by a new vertical boundary. Press the control key and then click and drag the horizontal boundary between the two viewports on the left to divide the lower viewport into two viewports divided by a horizontal boundary. You can then resize those viewports by clicking and dragging on the boundary. You can keep using this method to continue to divide viewports. And remember that you can save any configuration of viewports as a named viewport configuration. Model space viewports can also be joined or removed by dragging a boundary to the edge. For example, Click and drag the boundary you just created. Drag it over one of the other boundaries to remove that boundary and join the two viewports back into a single viewport. You can also use tools in the ribbon to join viewports. On the View ribbon, in the Model Viewports panel, click the Join tool. The program prompts you to select the dominant viewport. Click to select the viewport in the lower right. The program then prompts you to select the viewport to join. Click to select the viewport in the lower left. Nothing appears to have happened, but if you look at the command line, you can see that the program has told you that the selected viewports do not form a rectangle. Tiled viewports must always be rectangular. You cannot join viewports to create irregular shapes. The prompt repeats. Click the viewport in the lower left and then click the viewport above it. This time the two viewports are joined and the command ends.